So here I'm going to demonstrate how to map a character using the UV Ninja. Um, so I've gotten the character broken up into pieces already. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that, I'm sure. You know how to break objects up into pieces. So let's look at this torso and show you how to map it. Um, so what we can do is select an edge and double click that one to create a scene. So all the selected edges that you create will create a scene in the unwrap. So we will select these edges. Um, you can also right click in here and go add edges so that way you have those edges selected or saved um, so if you accidentally deselect it you can go in and reselect all these edges and another option you can do is actually right click and go save edge and what this does is it saves those edges for that mesh so you can just go load edge and you got your edges back that you have saved um, so let's map this um, we'll set the pixel ratio at 1024 for now and we will hit this so now you have your UVs laid out pretty good. Uh, go into show the grid that I have, and let's just scale this up so we get a better idea on how it's mapped it. Uh, it's mapped it pretty good. Um, you will have some issues you look at your UVs these are a little off so you can basically select let's select these and these and just run a quick fix on those so now you can see that those are a little cleaner um, also at the neck area uh, might be a little off so can just quick fix these guys at the top um, that's probably a good selection so now you see what that did is cleans that up a little better so you can also look at the back, back seam um, you might want to clean that up a little more uh, have it more of a straight line so you can just go edge loop this we don't want the front front edge but and we can just go quick straighten and it'll just straighten those guys out and you'll see that now it's pinching a little so in the if you right click the quick fix you can just fix the interior edges and now you have a really clean seam in the back so that's pretty much it on mapping the torso. Um, so arm, very simple. Just select an edge. And if you have this anything in this edge list, um, you probably want to clear it out first. So we'll just clear it out. Um, and we will just map this guy 
and go in here you can see there's pinching there so you can actually just try to map it at different angles and see what the results are um, this angle the result uh, no it's not so bad I think it was more of that yeah so depending on which angle that you map it at initially will determine where it, it uh, applies the initial mapping and then un unfolds it so this one looks probably the best and you got a little pinching in here so we can try to select those and fix those um, since it's on the underside it probably doesn't matter as much um, but that's basically it if we scale these guys up oops that might be a little too high and look around there you can actually just select these guys and just quick fix those clean it up just a little bit and yeah that's that doesn't look too bad uh, got some stretching in here so let's select those let's, let's just fix all of that let's see how that turns out and you can actually just go and fix the borders too so we'll just go refix the interiors to see that alright so we got the arm and the torso and now let's do the leg leg is basically an arm so we will just select an edge and map it and that's pretty pretty good so let's move on to the head so the head's a probably a little more trickier um, we'll select this edge and we probably don't want it to go all the way down so let's take it to that part and you want to select maybe Too bad. Um, put that in here. The you'll have the eyes are probably not right, so let's go in here and we'll just select a, some UVs and try to quick fix those. Uh, you can do a quick relax too. Let's try to relax the mouth a little. Uh, I'm not going to get this perfect, but because this is just to demonstrate how it, how you can just get a quick UV layout, um, and we can just fix the interiors again. Make sure there's no overlap. It's pretty good. Um, scale this guy up and see looks like the there. 
pretty good distribution. So now you can see that all of the three or the four four pieces that we uh, mapped are at different scales. So let's say we want to scale this down a little. Let's say we want all the U UVs at the same scale as the torso. So there's a couple ways to do this. Um, you can select the torso and under quick scale if you right click you can hit calculate pixel ratio. Now this will tell you how many pixels per meter that this is mapped at. Um, you can say set pixel ratio and then up here that's where it sets it. So you can just select the other objects and hit quick scale. And now you have everything mapped to this pixel ratio. Um, there's also another way to do this. Um, you can just select all your objects and select the target pixel ratio last and you right click and say quick scale to last object and this will just basically automate the process that I just went through so that is how you can use UV Ninja to map a character uh, pretty quick <laughs>